Okay, so I purchased this today off eBay. Um, it's basically holds your PCB boards. Um, I paid £18 for this. Um, comes in this box, like so. Just open it up. Um, that's literally how it comes in. It just came in a bag. Um, let's take this out. Okay, so what do you get for £18? Well, um, quality isn't that great. Um, this is plastic um, and you will know that there is a slight marks there these have because I do um, two versions this is the, the second version has little screens there and a little power supply plugged in there um, this is the version without it because well it just looked so cheap the power supply decided you know not to bother getting that one um, and it was slightly more expensive um, so yeah, this is all made out of plastic, so is this, so is that. Um, this is metal, however it is very thin metal. Um, got there, let's move these back and forth. Um, yeah, quality is not great, but I mean, it does the job. Um, so I'll just quickly demonstrate. Okay, so get your board light. So let's do it from the side, um, and then you just tighten it up like so. I mean, it holds it pretty well, nice and tight, not a problem. Um, I'm guessing by that sticky, you can. Um, put a bit of heat on this to do some reflowing and it'll be okay although this is plastic and I don't think this plastic is heat resistant uh, I'll have to try and find out um, so yeah I mean these video says it all really I mean obviously this is you could probably screw this unscrew this and get in there um, maybe you could add your own little power supply on there get some banana plugs maybe and make your own be a nice little project to do to this. Um, there's even a little thing there, the cable um, that you can put through. Um, some holes to put your screwdrivers in. Bearing in mind, um, you're not you'll only be able to get certain sizes in. Um, really, we're talking this these sort of sizes. You know, really small screwdrivers. Um, so yeah, I mean, I had no idea why they've decided to screw this on there. And obviously, it looks like something can just slide through there. What you could do is maybe get a, a magnifying glass as well um, on one of them um, bendy tube things, so you can like use your magnifying glass over to do work on that. Um, I mean, there's not really much else to say about it, really. I mean, all this is is plastic. Um, this seems to be... St what, steel, is it? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we saw plastic, apart from the bits that look like metal. <laughs> that are obviously metal, everything else is... Um, yeah, I mean, £18, I don't think it's really worth £18. Um, but this is the cheapest that at the minute that I can find that will just hold your boards in place while you do some work on them. It will come in handy this, um, and it will do the job. Um, it'd be interesting to see if this plastic is actually heat resistant. I can't think it being heat resistant because this is cheap. Um, so yeah, that's about it really. I mean, I suppose I could pop this off and have a look in there. In fact, I will do that. Okay, so, and there we go, yeah, it comes straight off. Um, like I say, they do sell a version of this where there's actually a little power supply built into this. And obviously they're just selling this without the power supply, and as you can see there... Um, this is where the um, your um, AC voltage was coming here. The cable would come in this little slit there, 
um, come through there and then you'd have a little thing over there that holds it in place um, and then the power supply would I suppose somewhere in there just plug in in fact here we go look there's a little hole there and they've slapped a sticker on this side to cover the hole up that will obviously that is where the uh, on and off switch is yeah because that's where the power AC there you go AC comes in there and that's where you would add a switch to turn the AC on and off and um, so if you buy this one without the um, power supply and you wanted to put your own in you could quite easily buy a little switch to put in there feed your own cable put a little power supply in there put your own banana plugs in there in fact you're probably best off doing that as you'll probably already know the power supplies that are already built into this are probably really cheap and tacky and um, well i don't know about you but i won't really want to be trusting powering my projects up with uh, a very cheaply made power supply so you could um, maybe get what phone power uh, a laptop power supply and um make it variable so you can uh, change the voltage and maybe add a couple of screens in there you can see where the um, cutouts for the screens were and they just haven't cut them out um so yeah that's really about it and um in there we seem to have is that screwed in i can't quite see um so i mean in it, it will do the job. Um, right. So, yeah. Um, only time will tell whether it lasts up or not. I mean, these this metal shaft is going into plastic, so straight away, that's not really ideal because plastic is not the strongest stuff and... I suppose if you put too much pressure on this, if you tighten this too much, you could strip the plastic. So yeah, I don't know. I suppose you could always maybe get a bolt to slide on there and glue the bolt on the inside of there maybe. I don't know. So yep, there we go. So I'll tell you much about it. Hmm.